Oh yes, here comes my robotic bird drone. Okay, that's the name your mom gave you, okay. Hey everybody, this is Peter Diamandis. I'm the chairman and CEO of the XPRIZE Foundation, the co-founder and executive chairman of Singularity University. And we're here for the amazing show, Ask an Expert, where we take questions from the Twitterverse about subjects we teach here at Singularity University. We probably take them from alien planets too, but I haven't heard any yet. So uh, what's your question? Oh, here she is, my robotic bird. All right, uh, PDX for Ava uh, asks, when is your first space mining expedition and how do I sign up? All right, uh, so here's the deal. Uh, you can sign up to watch it, but we're sending robots. We're not sending people. Uh, our ARCID spacecraft, uh, we just launched one a few months ago. Our next one's going up at the end of this year and we, about every year, two or three next generation spacecraft go up. Our objective is to send the first one of these out of Earth orbit to an asteroid sometime in the next uh, three years. And these spacecraft are going out for doing prospecting. They have on board a set of sensors. Hyperspectral sensors will be looking for nickel, iron, platinum group metals, and so forth. Midwave IR sensors that can look for water, because water on these asteroids is like finding an oil field. Water is hydrogen and oxygen, which is the most powerful fuel in our solar system. The House of Representatives in the United States just passed legislation that allows a private entity to own the materials it takes off of asteroids. It goes to the Senate. It's already gotten the support of the White House. So uh, stay tuned for before the end of this decade, uh, asteroid prospecting missions. The mining comes next, uh, and we'll figure that part out, you know, next. Hey, my drone's back. Whoa, almost back. Sit, stay, stay. Be nice, be nice. Pie Jaws asks, does your vision of abundance look like the Federation of Star Trek or something else? Great question. So the fact of the matter is I'm a Trekkie, full disclosure here, and in the Star Trek universe, effectively, there's no money. In the original Star Trek, there's no money, right? We came in with the uh, Ferengi and uh, Latinum or whatever the heck it's called uh, in the later series. But in a universe where you have a fabricator, where you can take energy and make matter, I mean, what do you need money for? And this is exactly where we're going. We're heading towards a universe of abundance where what used to be scarce and cost a lot of money is effectively becoming free. I'll give you an example. Right here in the valley, not far from here where I'm, I'm filming this for you, there is a company that has energy, water, methane and hydrogen coming in one end and out the other end comes diamonds. Perfect diamonds, where the cost per carat is like 10 bucks. So the problem is now you go to, you know, propose to your girlfriend and you give diamonds to your wife and she says, oh my God, this 10 carat diamond only cost a hundred bucks. I mean, honestly, we're going towards this world of abundance where we're learning how to take what was scarce and limited and make it abundant. And I do believe it looks much more like a Star Trek universe. And that's exciting where energy, water, food, materials become lower and lower cost. All right, here we go. Oh, here it is. All right. Man, ran out of juice. Batteries went dead. Okay. Uh, Cody asks, what tech is Peter using daily? Uh, you know, Cody, I'm using the same tech you are. My smartphone is the fundamental, right? I'm using Skype. Oh, one cool tech I'm using is my Beam robot. So here at Singular University, I've got 15 Beams, one in my living room at home. And Beams are this robot where I can do, you know, telepresence. I, on my laptop, I can beam in someplace and drive the robot around and actually go to talk to people, participate in meetings. I can be in Seattle one moment, in La Jolla the next, uh, here in Mountain View the third, and actually be mobile and have interactions with people. So I'm, I'm using that. I fly a, uh, an SR-22 airplane, uh, and when I fly that, I'm using the global positioning system and really some, some decent narrow AI on board the airplane called the autopilot to keep me safe in the air while I'm texting to the ground. 
I love technology, I love experimenting with it, and uh, can't wait to tell you more next year. Thank you for watching Ask an Expert. I'm Peter Diamandis here at Singular University. And that's it for this season, but we'll be back for season two soon enough. Don't forget to click right here to subscribe. Oh boy. <laughs> I said don't forget to click right here to subscribe, right there. And you too will have confetti falling from the ceiling. See you guys next season. <laughs> that's perfect, man.